Alrighty folks, what I have here is an Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake. Now this snake right here is about to go on the endangered species list here in Florida due to the fact that their homes are being taken away from them. Not just because us people like to live in homes that are high and dry, but these guys like to live in the same spots. But the fact that these guys like to winter vacation right here and our gopher tortoise nests. And you know what happens to most of our gopher tortoise nests, folks? They end up being bulldozed down and turned into homes. Easy, girl. Now, these guys do have the second largest fangs in the world. Look at her. You know what she's honing in on? She's checking out my heat. These snakes are really cool. Let's see. On top of her head, she has heat sensing pits in between her eyes and her nostrils. Those heat sensing pits are what helps her hone in on her prey. Now her fangs are about two and a half to two and a quarter inches long. That's the second largest fangs in the world. The only snake that gets larger fangs than this is the West African Gaboon Viper. Also like a rattlesnake, Gaboon Viper is a very heavy bodied snake and a very pretty snake. Now, I want you guys to take a notice of something. I've been sitting here with this rattlesnake here for a couple of minutes now and it has not attempted to bite or strike at me once. You guys ever heard that term mean as a rattlesnake? I don't think so. Um, these guys will try and get away from you. Now evolution has actually started to play a part in our rattlesnakes we have right now. Um, rattlesnakes have actually learned that when they rattle too much and too often, people like to take shovels and try and chop their heads off or even use shotguns and shoot them. It's a bad idea, guys. We need these snakes around. Yeah, I see you turning on me. Now you see how she's calming down nice and easy? Now something else I want you guys to take a good look at is right here, her tail. Now the way that tail is designed, every time she sheds her skin, she'll get a new one. Now you can see this girl here, she's actually gotten herself and gotten her tail broken once. Now that doesn't hurt her, but this is all dead skin that's interlocked together. And then when she gets upset, she can rattle her tail really good and tight. Now these guys, a lot of times you'll see them in the movies, all wrapped up in an S shape trying to bite a human. These are also the longest venomous snake here in North America. These guys can typically get anywhere from about nine and a half, and I've heard stories, never seen, 11 to 12 feet long. They get very heavy bodied. See that forked tongue sticking out? She's checking you out there, Jungle Jim. Now, Eastern Diamondback does come because they're found out here in the eastern part of the United States. And all along her back, she has these beautiful, beautiful diamond patterns on her. Now, folks, this is a very beautiful snake to have here in Florida. Actually, to have anywhere in the world. Easy, girl. Easy, easy. Relax. You're okay. Yep. But why do we want to see them go on the endangered list? So we can just build a bunch of houses. They're going to get foreclosed anyways. Now you see right here behind her eyes, see these big, large areas right here? And if you notice, I'm using the snake hook to uh, point that out. Don't want to put my finger right there. Those large areas are her venom glands. She has the ability to drop a whole bunch of venom right into a prey item. Lucky for me, I'm not a prey item. Now also, these snakes, believe it or not, usually their first bite on a human being is what we call a dry bite. That means that she doesn't even fold her fangs out. She just keeps her fangs tucked in and she does not deliver any venom because she knows she can't eat a human. Maybe I can just scare them with my big old teeth. My big old fangs make them think that I'm going to get them. Yeah, look at you. There it is. Now she's getting a little bit aggravated, but you know what? 
I'd probably be a little bit aggravated too if some guy was holding me by the tail and poking me with a big old stick. But folks, unfortunately, it's something I need to do so that we can educate people about these animals and just let them know how bad it can be. We lose this animal, what's next? I mean, this is a beautiful animal to see in your yard. And what's better than something that can kill you, that gives you a warning before it's going to do it? And nine times out of ten, you're not going to die from a rattlesnake bite. You get to the hospital. If you're allergic to the anti-venom, they've even developed a synthetic anti-venom. So that if you're allergic, they can use a synthetic and still save your life. So they're not as bad as they thought, but it doesn't make them any less beautiful of a snake. And just like that skunk we talked about earlier, take a look here. Those are some pretty bright colors and high contrast, ain't it? So what do you guys think about that? You're okay, girl. Anybody else want to try? Easy, girl. You're scaring us. She doesn't want to stay on the hook anymore. No, she's done. Yeah. Thankfully, they're so heavy bodied. There you are. Go over there. Get Sarah. Hello. There we go. Huh? Will she get used to me? Uh, it's not a snake I want to say we get used to the person. Um, chances are, yeah. I actually know a guy, the guy who trained me. He actually, um, he raised one from a newborn. And what he did is something I haven't tried with her yet, is he actually... He actually um, took his hat off and put his hat inside the cage and she'd crawl up underneath of it as a baby, as her hide box. And what would happen is his scent was all in that hat. So the scent of his body was actually a safe place for the snake. So she learned that his scent was okay. And Lily, when she would be upset like that, he could walk up to the cage and put his hand on top of it and she'd calm right down. He would even do something that I would never, ever do, reach in the cage and pick her up by hand like she was a corn snake. Not me, buddy. No. That's why they made these tools right here. Yeah, these suckers are the world for me right now. Um, these things work great, and uh, they keep me alive, or have so far. <laughs> <laughs>